Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. It is now time to go through the Eagle's Tower, which is easily one of the most interesting dungeons in the entire game. This is when the dungeons start to get really good, but they do also start to get uh, harder, a lot harder. With many pathways to go, you will never know which way you actually want to go. Isn't that fun? Yes, it is. Oh, that isn't, though. Oh. What, already? Uh, that's not right. Hmm. I guess I'm already stumped. I don't know why I'm already stumped. Bomb. And that was a whiz robe. Come on, I don't want to get stuck already. I kind of wanted to get through this one relatively quickly. I can already see that's not happening. Oh well. Oh, there we go. Key. Good. We can move on. I guess I just didn't want to kill like likes. And yes. This actually does have multiple floors. Don't be too surprised. Well, I guess you can be. This is a Game Boy title after all. Um, we'll just leave that there. And now we are about to run into the huge gimmick, or if you want to call it mechanic, of this dungeon. There are these four giant pillars on this floor, and you have got to break them all down. Which I think is very unique. I don't know if any other dungeon has ever done that in... Oh, no. Well, I got one of them. Can I get rid of that? I have a boomerang. Let's give it a try. Sweet. You see, the boomerang in this game is really awesome. These things aren't. I don't know why they have to come back. Oh, I will never. Okay. Well, anyways, we got the map. How about we look at it? Wrong button. Yes, this dungeon is four floors, and it's big. This was real advanced stuff for this game. Four floors? Wow, it's maddening. Ooh, darn it. Can I reach that? With something? Uh oh. Hmm. This isn't the game I'm thinking of. Um. Oh great, this is not going as well as I hoped it would. I expected this to be going much better because normally it does go somewhat better. I played this one. I played this game enough times so that I should. Dang it! Uh... Come on. Why? What, do I have to pull this back further? Alright, that works. Um, oh, right. I guess I can just do that. And then, pray I do not miss. Good. Very good. I made it. And, yeah, look at that. Eh. And look at that. I just threw into the spikes. I'm a genius. There. That's the second pillar down. Yay! This is basically the huge dungeon puzzle. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Haha, <laughs> killed it. There. Now, did I want to do that? I'm not 100% sure. I'll just leave it there for now. 
And I guess I will explore down here for a bit. And, yeah, Kirby. The boomerang is the only thing that can kill him. So, definitely bring a boomerang with you. Uh, I think I'll come back here a little later. I want to try and do as much as I can with this ball while I can. Which probably means going in here first. Well, now I'm not too sure. All I know is you don't want this to fall into a pit at any point. Oh no, this is fine. This is fine. There we go. And yep, these things return again. Just don't throw it into a pit. We won't be seeing that for a while now. Alright. That used to be a lot harder for me. I don't need money anymore. What am I doing? Anyways, we finally got the compass! So yeah, if you ignore these guys, you would never know where all the chests are. And you might have a little more trouble finding the keys. This is a big dungeon, so you don't really want to fall victim to that. Alright, we'll explore down here for a bit. Lovely. Forgot which way I want to go. Uh, Goombas and Kirby's. I'm honestly very surprised Kirby's in this game because he was very recent when this game originally came out. He only came out in the year of 1992 and the original version of this came out in 93. Gotta stop doing that. Well, anyways, we can't get that just yet. And, yeah, look who's returned. And only two hits with the equipment I've got. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Hmm. Should do this right now. Cool. Okay, we got him. Now it's just a matter of getting to that chest. Just don't fall. Alright, here we go. You think I want to survive this again? Eh, I'll just use my sword, I guess. Couldn't get my shield out. Should protect me just as much. Alright, almost. There we go. And now we can finally destroy this third pillar. There we go. But, yeah, if you looked closely on other screens, you would have seen some cracks. But it doesn't show it here. There we go. And look, that's what the final pillar is. So, uh, let's get it. Shall we? Oh, darn it. That's not good. Um, hang on. I'm not totally screwed yet. We'll just leave that there. For now. Because I want to get that chest. I don't know why, but sometimes the music just seems to get really ugly on this thing. A bomb! Way to go! <laughs> My life apparently has purpose again. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, yeah, you, you think that did me any good? Oh. Okay, then. Still doesn't do me much good. Well, I guess I'll just drop down a floor. What else can I do? Um, didn't think it was gonna take me back here. Oh well. I can still do this. So now I guess we gotta backtrack a bit. Aha, thanks a lot. Alright, this isn't a problem. We'll just use a boomerang. There we go. 
Do I have a key? Yes, I do. Cool. And for doing this, we get the mirror shield. You can now turn back the beams you couldn't block before. It will really help against those beam old statues, I'll tell you that. But now I kind of have to hit this. So we'll drop. And this is actually to get a treasure chest. Wonder what it is. It's a key. Lovely puzzle game. Kind of cruel, but still lovely puzzle. Uh, Kirby, don't eat me. Now we still have to get rid of that fourth pillar. So let's get to doing that. Uh huh. Alright. Good, free path. Now the question is, how long will it take to get back there? Maybe not too long. How many more? There are two more down there. I really should try to get them. Of course, I would have to hit that switch again in order to get it. At least, the one down here. There we go. Now let's take this bottom path. Whew, there we go. Alright. Here we go. Just don't get hit. Thank you. Of course, now we have to walk back. Are you kidding me? You're really gonna do this game? Huh. Let's try falling down this pit. Yes! Of course, this chest you probably shouldn't get unless you don't have a secret medicine. Oh, wait, wrong one. This is only 20 rupees, never mind. Still not that useful, though. I still want that one treasure chest, though. I really want it. So I should really try to get it. And I've got an idea on how I'm gonna get it. It just involves more backtracking! I'm just gonna hit this. There. Now I should be able to get it. And maybe if I don't get hit, maybe I can be a happy person. Thing is, if I go down these stairs, will I have to do serious backtracking? Oh, fudge. I've got to... I should probably do this first. I don't know. Either way, I think I'm going to have to backtrack. How did that not get me? Now it's getting me. There. Either way, where is the uh, thing? There it is. Hook shot. Get it out. There we go. And there, we have completed the huge dungeon puzzle. Hooray! So now, this dungeon's actually only three floors. Which is good, because now it's actually possible to access every single room available to us. Hmm. I just don't know why I can't push this one. Either way, I gotta backtrack now. Ow! Okay, I could really use a fairy about now. Oh, thanks, Heart. I needed you. Come on! Cool, I made it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I have to hit this again now. Great. Just want that chest. Is that really so hard? Look at all this backtracking I'm doing. Nevertheless, I had to do it anyway. Still. 
Now, if I go this way, am I still at least able to get the... Nope. Ha, I jumped on a Goomba. In this overhead view. Yay. Hi, Kirby. Why is Kirby so evil in this game? I think he's called Anti-Kirby. Which is really evil. Alright. Now, before we head off to the uh, third floor, I still want to um get that chest. Why do I have to keep getting on my boomerang every single time? Alright. I'm still getting that chest, no matter what. Cause, uh, completionist freak is me, I guess. So I got the fairy, right? I got the fairy. Oh, man! Alright, so in here is... A little late for this. Don't want to go in there. This is the bottom floor, so that's actually a pit. So I guess we're going this way. More backtracking, yay! It's not getting the like likes, although I don't think they can see my shooting. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! There was one right there. Oh well. At the very least, we can head to the end of the dungeon now! Yes, we're actually at the dungeon's end now. Took a while, we're finally there. Isn't there a faster way? Like, through here? It keeps me from having to do, um... Nope, no, not at all. Ignore what I was thinking, it was bad. <laughs> Alright! With a hoppity hop. Uh, oops, wrong way. <laughs> We're going this way. Alright. We actually haven't fought the main mini boss of the dungeon yet, actually. Surprisingly close to the end. There we go. Now just don't fall into the holes. Don't get hit by these jerks. And we're set. There's the last floor. Sweet. You're not funny, game. There. Let's go up here. Yeah, this area's a lot bigger now. Anyways, finally time for the real mini boss. Hey, right! You think you can take me? Alright, boys, get this bug out of my face! This is grim. Since a whole bunch of bats, and all you've really gotta do is strike at all of them. You miss just one, you're doing it again. That's all you got. Get ready for this. So yeah, if you destroy all bats in any set pattern, you've already won. That's the mini boss. Darn it! They ain't too low. This is getting annoying. There we go, I win. You dirty rat! <laughs> hey, my brothers! You'll pay! I'll never forget you! Oh, look, it's a block puzzle! Did you see this coming? There we go! Yeah, you still have a block puzzle to get the nightmares key. I actually kind of forgot about that puzzle, but obviously, since I was still able to do it, it's not that hard. There's one more chest in the dungeon. All right then. So let's get, on, get down to exploring, I guess. All right, cool. So yeah, up there is the uh, boss door. So let's just use it. But we actually have to do some walking around before we get to the boss. I should probably take this out. Is this the room? Yeah, this is the room. Darn it. Well, I'm not going to enjoy this. Of course. I still don't understand these things. Like, oh, how do you do it anyway? Oh, cool. 
Oh, this one was the secret medicine. I wish I could just refill your health if you already had one. So yeah, I have one key, but there is no point to even use it. So let's just go to the boss. They're giving us a Goomba, so let's take the opportunity to get some health back. There we go. And up these stairs is the roof where we fight the boss. Um, get out the mirror shield. You're gonna probably need it. Ah! I'm not going to hold back. I'm gonna make you wish you were never born. So here's the boss. Evil Eagle. And it's actually probably the hardest boss in this game. And he'd like to do a lot of flying around, so... When he's low enough, you hit him. But he has two other abilities. One of which, well, if he gets to it, he can start sending out a whole bunch of wind, which will try to blow you away. And he'll also send off a whole bunch of... Un My energy! Gone! I... Lost! But you will be lost too, if the wind is wakes. Same as me, you are in his dream. Well, of course, when you have all this stuff, he's a piece of cake. Without the stuff, he'll take like 12 hits. But yeah, he could try to blow you off with undodgeable feathers. That's what you need the shield for. If you fall off the tower, you start the entire fight over again. He can also try to ram into you. But of course, I kind of forgot with this kind of equipment, he dies in three hits. It's usually a very hard boss, actually, for a very well-made dungeon. This one is actually very interesting. It's a good one. 22 minutes? Okay, then. This one might take you some time. Although, I think it's much better made than the face shrine. That, that, that one's just confusing. Ocarina. The music of the Ocarina leads. Well, I kind of wanted to go a little further, but I guess it's already kind of... Well, I'll move a little bit, because it is actually going to take a little bit of time, and honestly, I don't want to have to pause in the middle of a dungeon. Oh! That's how it's going to be. Can I find some land? Thanks. Well, that's not at all what I was expecting. Alright then. Now I have to get back to Tall Tall Heights. Um, hmm. That was unexpected. Completely unexpected. Great. Uh huh. Um, uh, well, we're not too far off. I guess. Oh well. I'll just go a little ways and then I guess I'll have to stop the video midway there. So I'll just get to where I want to go and I'll end off the video. I kind of forgot that takes me down there. I was hoping it would have been a shortcut to the eighth and really final dungeon. Get rid of this! Ooh, I destroyed a fireball! Bat, slime, bat. I am mad! That wasn't a shortcut at all. Don't worry, we'll be getting that piece of heart very soon. Probably next video, actually. Where are my boots? There we go. Whew! Okay! Let's go! Charge the White House! Alright, get up these steps! Come on, Link, you can go faster than that. Alright, I'm almost there. And uh, yeah, I will uh, stop here. Oops, didn't want that. Alright, um. Next video, we will, um, 
head on to the 8th dungeon. Until then, this has been TalesFan109, and have a nice day!